Hello everyone and what is going on? Hyperion Blue GT here. Let's get ready to go for a rerun in today's live summon event in the Crew 2, Rising Sun. A themed summon and features with events and activities related to Japanese vehicles and car culture was originally to have the first season as the second themed summon from May 1st through the 8th of 2019 before the first rerun has now appeared from October 23rd through the 30th of 2019 as the final summon of Season 2 after Smoke and Tires that also to have different rewards before currently until Season 12 has now set to be as a second rerun to have 6 events and 3 skills that you guys may remember. However, because different restriction has now set to be well used including the Red Fury edition of Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution X has now appeared to be on loan. One of the three vehicles has now set to be on restriction is the Nissan 370C Type C34 Drip Edition at Airport Terminal D. Fourth generation touring car discipline of the Mazda MX-5 will be racing at Jersey Racetrack. And of course, the Kawasaki Ninja H2 Street Race Discipline will go for having a hypercar combo event at Hollywood to see how one motorcycle will be driving in and get set to have best moments and different challenges comes in to have a whole new perspective along with three skills as you may remember to go on the low altitude, solemn and buoy smashing to have two water based vehicle and airplane all together. As always, if you're new to my YouTube channel, go click the subscribe button then leave a like and comment at the section down below. Check out the links on the description if you want to see more. And don't forget to click the bell for notifications on upcoming content videos in the later future. Now it is time to get ready to go for today's live summit event. Let's begin. Here are the three land based vehicles for only one bundle event including the Kawasaki Ninja H2 has now listed to be on a discount and 20% off by 350559 bucks available. But this one is going to be having a street race discipline for the H2 comes in to have a 210 horsepower with a top speed 185 miles per hour that contains to have a customizable for this most finest Ninja H2 to be well driven to be on the open road. But in that case because we already got the MX-5 Touring Car Edition and the Drip Edition on the Nissan 370C Type C34 is now good to go. Only one Kawasaki ever since we already got the Touring Car version but this one should be quite good to go and gonna have to go for only one vehicle preparation plus an extra as part for the main update. Alright folks, one motorcycle acquired. Now it's time for me to get myself to have a Mitsubishi FTO GP version R. This is the car that I'm about to go for it for only one street race event in San Bernardino Mountains. Very good excellent exterior and fully detailed view all together to have the most finest Japanese vehicle since 1997. 350,000 bucks so that should be quite good enough to have three different kinds of colors. White, black and red. Alright so gonna have to start out to pick the white color. One for the rims and Purchase to be all good to go to have this most finest FTO version ever yet to be played in the Crew 2. Car has now purchased. Let's get ready to go and parts to be organized by having a Nitro Chemist will be entered to be part as the second rerun in Rising Sun. So far so good to have Premio as a recap from last week to be putting up to have 4 rewards including the Dazzling Tire on the Rare Vanity in the Platinum Rank. 3,897 plays is going to be quite going well to have 1,174,854 points and that means exterior parts for the BMW i8 Roadster, Roop CTR3 Drag Race Edition and more followers will be combined together to go in to have some extra earnings. Alright, entered in week number 5. So it's going to be quite good to see the next 4 rewards will have to be well set up and get some more vanities including another premium vehicle to be marked on the Platinum. So to start out on the date schedule from December 14th 
through the 21st until Santa Special will be coming up soon. So I'm, I'm about to be planning up to have another double feature after three times the content videos that I've been working so hard for over the last week. But that's not all because moving forward to be on January 4th through 11th is the Rider Challenge. Coming soon to be coming up later on is the Team Italian as a rerun. So first things first, start out to have three skills and six events because let's just gonna have to go in to have another encore moment for the third time ever. So let's start out to be on a low altitude in Glacier Park. Any airplane vehicle will be switched up automatically to be fly in and go very low. Alright. Speaking of flying low, so gonna have to be flying in to be on the river. Let's see how it turns out. Going extreme and keep a good stationary for my Pelotus PC-21. Seize the good strategy and eat. Close call. Scorebreaker will have to keep it well stationary. I know what I have to do because I'm gonna have to fly very carefully, avoid having a contact on the bridge. Very good. Not too shabby. But that should be quite doing well to see how maintaining the low altitude turns out to go up in about 100,000 points. 156,546 points to have 31,603 points. Very good and very fine excellent to be soared in to be on the skies without having any contact by the trees. So let's go to be on water based vehicle by starting out in Grand Canyon to do the solemn. We'll have to choose any kinds of water based vehicle whenever you like to pick. So I'm about to switch up automatically with a Foucher 1414 Demon will be at the ready. So here I go. Solemn around the gates to set sail. Okay, there it goes. Keep it much more tight. Now for the U-turn. Slow it in. Okay, looks like one checkpoint just barely took a mist. But it could be much more possible to use a jet sprint discipline will be doing much more easier at this time, but harder as it goes, but the pace will have to be well stay on track a bit because power both discipline will be best to be well used. But the first attempt is now clear. 21,306 points is now going to be quite going updated to be on the first round. Fantastic, very good, and same 150,000 points to be on the range. Now let's go to be on East River for having a buoy smashing to choose any kinds of two water based vehicle. But I'm, a, I'm always going to have to be well kept to be currently used on the 1414 Demon will have to be stationary to go as a heavy boat juggernaut. But of course because most best power boat discipline is going to have to be set sail to be going in to have this gate. Okay, looks like there they are. Gonna have to be more careful to avoid the red buoys. Excellent work. Just find a perfect stationary line to go as a figure 8. So very close to get the next one until the time runs out. So 20,000 added up to have 542 points. Very excellent. Third times the charm, third times the 150,000 point range to be added with 2,442 points. Simple and piece of cake. So it turns out that the original and rerun was used to have all vehicles related to have Japanese vehicle to be set on restriction. However, in the second rerun, it turns out to have two no restriction plus four vehicles to be set on restriction including the Red Fury edition of the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution X. Well, I know you guys have already done this once and twice so 
This is going to be having my first time ever to do this. Going to have to start out to choose one of the six event. Alright, so let's start out to be racing at Miami Harbor for the Land Evil X Red Fury Edition. Ever since the Nissan GTR R35 was now taking over for the original and first rerun. However, because different Japanese vehicle will have to be ready to take a turn until it will have to be updated before currently to have the third rerun later on in the future. But of course it is because all kinds of different past moments to have some best events during the live summon. So I'm gonna have to be ready to go and have this most best temporary real car ever yet to be well fully tuned. Per level starts out in 161 that contains 295 horsepower with a top speed 155 miles per hour. Let's give it a go and let's see how it feels because a different addition to the Land Evil X is going red and made out of a carbon fiber. Looks so very cool, very awesome and a nice stylish rims. So let's do this and go for having a most finest Japanese showdown to be in nighttime with a fog condition. So I got this in the lead, going in to take every checkpoint for every three laps. Kick up the nitro, going in, find a perfect line. So you see, this makes a very good stunning unique customization to the Land Evil X ever since the standard version was actually to be turns out to have all kinds of different and same customization until this one is a very different addition ever since to be well appear from Rising Sun. But originally to be stated on to the second event from Season 1. So now I'm gonna have to go forward to take the lead. I will agree to try out with the Mitsubishi FTL GP version R later on in San Bernardino Mountains for having a sprint race. So coming in to take lap number 2. Progressively and stay well driven to this nice Red Fury Land Evo. Now let's take that shortcut. Coming in. But I tell you because this looks so very awesome to have a carbon fiber all around in this Land Evo. Just like a different edition that has a blue trim, but this one is a red trim. It's going to be quite so amazing to see how a single Japanese road car can actually to have a most finest carbon fiber to be well played in the game. Only in the crew too, but different customization to have this unique wing spoiler turns out to become very rad and all wheel drive. But I can't wait to get this car until this event is over before Christmas theme summon will be coming up soon. But I hope I can probably have to be very good to be as a good racer for th this year's Christmas you guys. All that hard work and busy time of development including three of my custom liveries from Gran Turismo 7 on the Mazda RX Vision GT3 concept, Porsche Vision Gran Turismo and the Chevy Corvette C7 CR1 2019. I did three of them because I'm not going to have to be ready to plan to have the next three card collection. We'll have to do silver and gold. Here comes the final stretch, and there you go. Total time is now complete by having 2 minutes 51.602 seconds to get 45,000 bucks earned. Not bad. Not bad after all because the Red Fury Edition Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution X has now passed one event without having a follow up catch up. Impressive. I'm so very good to see how different edition turns out to become greater and brighter as it goes. Not to mention because JDM cars is the best culture we'll be driving around in Japan and America. So let's go and take on event number 2 at San Bernardino Mountains for having a Mitsubishi FTO GP version R will be step in to be racing in in America. 
one build from Japan. Also to have a right hand interior build is gonna have to see how it turns out to be. So gonna have to go by the filters until a few seconds Booby will respond. Go by brand. Okay, so I'm about to show you guys something because a different color scheme onto the FTO will be turns out to see what it is. Ta-da! The Dandelion Yellow on the FTO GP version R. All set and ready to go to be at 280 per level with 752 horsepower with a top speed 226 miles per hour. I hope this is going to be quite very awesome to see. I just painted to see how the white color turns into a dandelion yellow. But I know this is going to be quite very brilliant to see how the FTO is now ready to drive in the crew too. Just like all the other racing games like Gran Turismo, Forza, and especially to have Tokyo Extreme Racer Drift. I'm sending happy winning so let's thoughts. get in there and take the lead. But I tell you guys because this car is sure does might have a best retrospective JDM car from the 90s. Also to have the right side interior view to be on the hand is also to be drivable to be racing in Japan. But this one is going to be first to drive in America as part of Into the Storm update as ever to see how this FTO can go FF. The drivetrain is actually to be as a front engine layout because it's a very good understeer grill car to see how it feels. Gonna have to kick it up, go forward to have a nice velocity speed to go in in about 200 miles per hour. But I'm still working on it to have that premium motor pass bundle to be currently in progress after Into the Storm event is gonna be turns out to become excellent and well challenging to face many obstacles including final call will have to be swarmed in by some police cars but but there's no sign to have the fifth event in the live summon so we gotta keep an eye out after this so let's keep going now enter to the forest of San Bernardino okay mistakes were made should probably have to do quick braking as well That's more like it. Keep a good touch on the handling of the speed. G gonna have to try to go for having a better clean racing. Nitro, good to go. Halfway there to be on the main progression. So you see, this FTO is a very good excellent roll car made by Mitsubishi to be well played to be debuted in Gran Turismo 1 back in 1998. However, because different kinds of livery to be well featured that contains to have race modification. For instance, because the FTO can also have two different version color scheme to have a rally art variation to be well trimmed out to have the red or blue color scheme to be well used to have a race modification to be fitted. Also because the LM addition to this car can actually to be turns out to become very amazing to have an FTO LM addition to be well played in Gran Turismo 1 to Gran Turismo 3 aspect. However because different customization turns out to become very different to have its own kind of race modification. Different color seems to be in GT1 and 2 was used to be colored in green and black. It's mostly powerful to have an all-wheel drive that is going to be quite drivable to be on a track. But I bet it does because there might be some two different livery scheme to be well appear in the crew too to see how this car can actually turns out to be. Very impressive. Now, I just own the streets to have drivable by using Nissan or Mitsubishi. But I'm always be prepared to be driving in Mitsubishi. So there goes the first attempt. Maybe I should probably have to try again later on after this video will be complete. After all, because the FTO will be a very good best place to be here in the crew too. So let's go, after having two street race event is about to be checked and complete. 
one more event. That means Hollywood for the Kawasaki Ninja H2 will be set to be scheduled for the next round. So grab your favorite motorcycle, you guys. One vehicle, one motorcycle, set to be having one of the three restrictions, will be set up and good to go to show some good, talented moments. Ever since we've been driving with a motorbike addition to the Kawasaki Ninja H2, but this one is a street race discipline that has a per level of 280 with 273 horsepower with a top speed 195 miles per hour. That also to be featured to have car customization option to this motorcycle, even the SOX has now also to be featured as well. So time to get ready to drive. Let's see how hypercars versus one motorcycle will be taking a challenge to go in to be at Hollywood followed by Los Angeles. So let's get ready to go and have the green underglow to be set up and hit it onto the straightaway onto the You're first gonna win turn. This easy peasy lemon squeezy. So here I go. Gonna have to go kneeling to stay in the formation. Very good and excellent. So, gonna have to slow down. The handling turns out to become a little bit heavier for the Kawasaki Ninja H2. Very good, excellent to have a good formation as a two wheel drive. Same exterior and different customization parts whenever you're gonna have to use as a street race addition. So, now gonna have to take that checkpoint to go clear. Now, going green. Faster and tighter to go for doing a weight transfer. Okay, looks like gonna have to go for having a halfway amount of gauge. Let's see how it goes. And turns jump to be extreme by the risk. Wow. Quick stunt and possibility to see how the Ninja H2 turns out into a most extreme high-performance motorcycle in the game. So let's take the next street, entered in South Los Angeles. Coming through to have that straightaway to be proceed until go for the on-ramp. Very good, excellent, tight turn. Stay at it. Enter the freeway. But I really hope this motorcycle for the Kawasaki Ninja H2 that has a different look on ever see that screen. This is where the RPM is about to be well shown to see at it. Because the top speed is going to be at kilometers to between on to 300 km. So now I'm going to have to take that right turn and proceed. Nitro good to go. And let's see how the 5th gear to be climbing back up onto 6th gear. Ooh, looks like very good dodging turn. Going to have to get back up. Going out to the tunnel. Exit the freeway. Final stretch is coming right up ahead. Okay, very good. First place made it on time in 2 minutes, 55.539 seconds. That's how one attempt plus Kawasaki motorcycle equals an outstanding stud performance to be on 117,000 that adds up to have a good 100 point to be at Gonna have to wait for it until the loading screen to be in 351. Alright, so looks like two street race event is now check and complete. So let's go drag race to have one event vehicle will have to be take place in Tweak and Shout. It used to have two exclusive vehicles during Rising Sun as the original and first rerun to be currently using with two Nissan cars. 370C Type-C34 
and Nissan Skyline GTR R34 Drag Race Edition will have to be ready to take place to be in Las Vegas for doing the third time ever. Okay folks, Determination makes a simple choice to have Nissan Skyline or 370C is going to have to be ready to go to be on the same per level on 400. Different horsepower with a top speed that we might have to see how it turns out. Maybe I might going to have to go for using a UDRS in Spartak Libri on the drag race variation. So let's give it a go and see how it turns out for only one JDM car will embrace it and Two. go higher up onto the one. most top speed ever yet. So gonna have to switch back onto the third person view. Holding in. Keep the gauge in the green zone. Alright, now step on the gas until for the green. Okay, gear shift is doing well. Hit the nitro, go straight to finish line in the first round. All right, looks like it's doing good in average. 10.945 seconds. All right, so let's go on to run number two. Gonna have to do it right and correction to see how the R34 Skyline can actually have to do it. Holding in, stay on the green zone in about having some 5 second time. Okay, there we go. Two more stars earned in second run. 9 point six forty four seconds. Very good. Now for the final round you guys. It's all or nothing to see how the new record will have to turn out to be. So let's keep burning in and stay on the green zone as always. Okay, go for the combo. I wonder what which record is going to be look like. 9.610. Good, excellent gear shift. Total time to be quickest is 9.609 seconds. Awesome. Very awesome. And drag race attempt is now complete. That's how two Japanese dragster is doing some perfect time just like doing the first and rerun as original. So now, four events are now checked and complete. Let's go drifting until moving on in Jersey Racetrack for the 4th generation Mazda MX-5. So grab your Nissan 370C Type C34. This time it's about to go standard without having a Nismo version as well. Drifting is all about having a most stunning excellent entertainment on the track ever since to be driving on the mountain pass from every mount projector of Japan. But the Nissan 370C C34 Drip Edition is a most finest customization to have a different exclusive variation with an import style on the vanity with the tires, underglow, and the smoke to be fine a perfect line. Good thing the Drip Camp will be set to be recording so I'm about to be ready to go at it. Red Bull Drip Shifters in Airport Terminal D. Three. Here are long lasted drifting style to go endurance. So let's see how the chain combo will have to be ever long lasted in about 2 minutes. Okay, very good. Stay on the line. 
That's how the tight turns and nitro will have to be used the combination to see how it will embrace it ever since from Dominion Forsberg update. Okay, gonna have to stay on top of it. Always make sure to have the tip will keep you noticed. Go for the chain. Tight turns are always being challenging. One minute left. So let's give it a go. Okay, that's the first lap clear. Now, gonna have to be holding in on to lap number two. Thirty seconds, gonna have to hurry up. Try not to hit the barriers. I just really don't want this to lose a good perfect combo. Very good. Looks like 185 combo. Gonna have to hurry up. Maximum in 187. There you go. I'm so very cool to see how it turns out to be at 627,385 points. One attempt and a new record is all clear for using one Nissan 370C. Now that's what I call ever long lasted drip for only one and a half lap. So very cool. And very amazing to see how one drip event turns out to become a very piece of cake. But save it for only one event, Mazda MX-5 Touring Car Edition is going to be ready to go at Jersey Racetrack. This is going to be so very amazing to see how one Japanese vehicle will be classed as a pro racing category turns out to have one exclusive vehicle. Fourth generation roadster to see how it feels and let's give it for a go for only one track and having one last step for the competition to see how Rising Sun as the second time rerun. So it's all set and good to go. Gonna have to be ready for everything. It's gonna be now or never towards the Platinum category to be on the main rank. <sighs> Feels so good and well proud to see how Japanese vehicle in the summit event turns out to become A-OK. -okay. You're so gonna win this one! So I hope I could probably win this race. Take the first turn onto the half speedway session. Press on in sector one before enter in sector two. For all Japanese car lovers out there by playing in the crew too. This second rerun in Rising Sun turns out to be coming having some different perspective and turns for having a whole new challenge for every vehicles out there and especially for the FTO GP version R to be take place in San Bernardino Mountains. But, well of course it is because I just did my best and it was so very fun out there to see how the FF Japanese car turns out to be coming doing some new challenges to be raced in America. But actually it does because the FTO will be a very good nice boat place to be here in a crew too just like playing Gran Turismo series, Forza Motorsport series and especially to have Tokyo Extreme Racer series and Drip as well. For now, gonna have to take one last event, so it'll have to be well over soon until gonna have to be ready to go on to have the Christmas special for doing the next live summon. Okay, looks like the imported smoke is doing well to have a good line sight. Nitrous will have to be stationary to be at the go. Take that apex clear. Going in to take the hairpin again. Ok, 
Okay, dirt lap is about to go clear at the end. Here comes lap number four. First sector clear by the checkpoint. So let's jet and move in. Go for that turn. Another sector checkpoint clear. Last stretch. Go, go, go. Only one fast tourist in about under 3 minutes, 2 minutes, 55.760 seconds is now all clear. That's the ticket, now that's one Japanese competition for the MX-5 4th generation roaster to see how it turns out to becoming much more fine competitive on the track. Great job out there folks. All 6 events and 3 skills are now checked and officially complete in about 1 day left before stopping at December 21st. We'll be coming up soon for having another live summon event to see how it feels. So let's have a good check preview to be having some good moment in Santa Special in the next event. Alright, looks like we got everything what we have to do you guys. Two European cars like the Mercy Loco LP640 and Enzo Ferrari. Live Extreme Series Holiday Special to be having a 3 leg no restriction. Street Race Discipline will be having a different vanity as a reward. Rallycross is now set to be having a no restriction zone along with Motocross to be having a Monster Truck Discipline. Three skills to be on a solemn and low altitude so this is going to be the perfect Christmas holiday gift for all of us, you guys. So better be ready because this is going to be the next stopping point on to December 21st through the 28th. Only one event to go before 2023 will be entered is Into the Storm Best Of. To get the BMW M8 Performance Edition is also to be very brand new as a premium reward. Also to have a KTM 450EXC Red Bull Edition on Rider Challenge in January 4 through 11 until Untamed Italians will be coming soon. So what do you guys think about the second rerun in Rising Sun? It turns out to become very awesome to enjoy to have the same events comes in to have a different perspective and accept the other two events like the Mazda MX-5 4th Generation Roadster Touring Car Edition at Jersey Racetrack and Kawasaki Ninja H2 at Hollywood for having another Encore event. Mostly for having the other four events including the Red Fury Edition of Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution X at Miami Harbor, Nissan 370C Type C34 to take the drip on Airport Terminal D. However, because no restriction vehicles on Tweak and Shout for the Drag Race Discipline and San Bernardino Mountains for having one street race event. But I did a lot of fun out there to try out with the Mitsubishi FTO GP version R to be played in the crew too. But that's not all because one event as a follow up catch up will do the activity in the second rerun of Rising Sun. So I hope I could probably have to be ready to wrap this up because this part of the video will be said to be as a double feature along with Santa Special will be coming up soon in the 21st through the 28th of December. So I have to keep a promise to start recording on Wednesday until Christmas Eve will be arrived in December 24. And also to have two returning cars from the Chase update is the Bugatti Chiron interception unit and Creators KS Mask Leader will be available in December 21st on the first day of winter. Thank you for enjoying watching the video in the crew too folks. I hope you enjoyed. Go subscribe to my YouTube channel for a like, comment, and click the bell for a notification on upcoming content videos if you'd like to see. Don't forget to check it out on any social media platforms like Deeper Than Art, Twitter, Instagram, GT Planet, and more for see for my own image artwork like UDRS Delivery, Total Drama Fan Art Ricard Liberties, and more whenever you're welcome at any time. 
I'll be seeing you guys next time on the live summit event in the crew 2 and I look forward to see you again in the next video. Keep on racing, stay clean.